Hewitt's diary. Oh. 19th of August. Strange and sudden change. Yeah, the volume down. About 8 o'clock, he began to get excited and slip about as a dog does when setting. The attendant was struck by his manner and, knowing my interest in him, encouraged him to talk. He was usually respectful to the attendant and at times serve him. But tonight, the man tells me he was quite haughty and not condescend to talk with him at all. All he would say was, I don't want to talk to you. You don't count now. Master. Tempted this, it is some sudden form of religious mania which has seized him. If so, we must look out for scores. For a strong man with homicidal and religious mania at once may be dangerous. The combination is dreadful. At nine o'clock, I visited him myself. His attitude to me was the same as that to the attendant. In his sublime self feeling, the difference between myself and the attendant seemed to him as nothing. It's like religious mania. And he will soon think that he himself is gone. These infinitesimal distinctions between man and man are too paltry for a nipple being. How these madmen give themselves away. The real God will take it he, lest a sparrow fall. But the God created from human vanity sees no difference between an eagle and a sparrow. The honor of men won't be. For half an hour or more, Renfrew kept getting excited and greater and greater to That shifty look came into his eyes, which we always see when the madman has seized an idea. And 